being a YouTube superstar has its advantages. I know this because Mr. Beast said so in one of his videos. I wouldn't know. Or would I? I may not have millions of subscribers and millions of views on my videos, but I have something that many of those other superstars don't have. I have influence. In the last week or so, I've made a couple of videos about the new Baofeng UV9G GMRS radio. In the latest video, I talked specifically about the issues that kept this radio from being the perfect sexy redhead of a radio. If you haven't seen that video going over the issues and why this radio is so, so close to being perfect, you can watch it right there. Well, the boys at Baofeng and girls, I guess girls work at Baofeng too, right? Are, are girls allowed to work in China? They apparently are allowed to watch YouTube over there and they saw my video. So this morning at 4.03 a.m., Baofeng sent me an email responding to my knit pics about the Baofeng UV9G waterproof GMRS radio affiliate links below. So in this short video, I'm going to read Baofeng's response to my little nitpicks. I'm going to read them to you, my favorite viewer. So cozy up in a warm blanket next to your screen while I whisper in your ear. In the last video with my gripes outlining all the issues that kept the Baofeng UV9G from being the perfect sexy redhead of the radio world, there were eight issues that I mentioned. So these are Baofeng's responses to my eight little nitpicks. I'm just going to read them to you. I'm not going to waste your time and string it out. You're not going to find any stupid intros with fancy music and none of that here like you find on so many other YouTube channels because I respect your time. And I'm in a hurry. Number one, the CTSS settings, which are by default CTSS uh, transmit and receive set on every channel, which are a major pain in the bitch to undo. So this is their response. It was set to avoid unnecessary signal disruption in their first use. According to your video, it seems that it brings more inconvenience than good. So we will change that setting in the next inventory. Number two, narrow band was set by default on every channel. You have to go into every single channel and go from narrow band to wide band. If you don't understand the difference between narrow band and wide band, I should make a video explaining the differences between wide band and narrow band. Why do we set narrow band by default? We wanted to reduce the disruption to the wide band. Again, it's an inconvenient setting for customers and we will now set channels one through seven and channels 15 through 30 to wideband and high power by default in the new inventory. They're gonna leave channels eight through 14. Those are required to stay at narrow band and they're gonna change the default to high power. I didn't even mention that. So that's like a plus. Number tray, inflexible DIY channels. I mentioned that the way the DIY channels are set up, it's not optimal. Those allow you to have repeaters on the same frequency with different tones, which many radios can't do. It's a great feature, but the way it's implemented in the Baofeng UV9G, affiliate link below, the way it's implemented, it's a little clunky to the end user. That is indeed an excellent suggestion, my suggestion, to fix it. We can fix it. We would mark it on the to-do list and fix it in the near future since it takes a lot of time. Number quattro. That's four if you don't live in Southern California. Can't change power setting via the pound button. You're supposed to be able to change the power level setting by tapping the pound key, but when you do, all you get is the screw you tone. Can't change power setting via pound button. Their response. This is a bug that will be fixed in our next inventory. Number five, number five. The antenna interface is too small. So what I'm referring to or what they are referring to is this hole 
where the antenna goes in. Perfect for the uh, rubber ducky that comes with it, but if you're using something like a Nagoya 771G antenna, it won't fit. This is their response. Sorry to say that is a design defect in the mold. It's the thing that makes the plastic. So technically we can't fix this. Number six, programming port issue. As I mentioned and complained about loudly in the previous video, the programming port, which is under this cover to keep it waterproof. Did I mention that this radio is waterproof and it costs only $40? affiliate link below. To program the radio via the software, which runs only on Windows, where to program it, you've got to remove the cover and then there's a, a plug that goes onto it. The plug does not stay on the radio. So you have to remove that screw from this cover, which is not as simple as it sounds, and then put it on the cover for the plug and put it in and then reverse. It's a pain in the... So their response, we will add an extra screw in the package. So now you have a screw that you can put into the plug for programming and leave it there and not have to hassle with stealing the screw from here and dropping it under the refrigerator and number this many. The programming software only runs in Windows. My nitpick is that if you are one of the over 10 billion people that use Linux, Chromebook, or Mac OS, you're out of luck. You've either got to go through a whole bunch of hassle to use this software or you don't use it at all. Their response, we're adding UV9G on Chirp for programming soon. Chirp is the free software that runs on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. I don't think it runs on Chromebook, but really nobody cares. So that's huge. That will be great. You'll be able to program your UV9G on your non-Windows computer. Number eight. Software document, uh, what they're talking about is the, the program download. I don't think they speak English as their first language in China. The, the download, when you go to download the programming software for your Windows computer, it's not in the regular .zip format that many people, I, I know, not all people, most people, the majority of people, come to expect. They expect a .zip file. Baofeng at their website had the file in a .rar, raw, raw. So if your Windows computer wasn't already set up, you didn't have a program to unrar rar files, you'd have to figure it out. Not a big deal for some people. We understand it is a big deal for other people. I know this is hard for some people to understand. Some people. Their response. We have already changed the format to zip on our website. Already fixed. Now, when you go to download the programming software from the baofangradio.com website, it's now in .zip format. That is the power of being a major social media influencer. I had eight gripes, nitpicks. They addressed and resolved or will be resolving seven out of those eight. The only one that's going to be more troublesome for them, which I assumed and knew, I mentioned that in my previous video, is the part about the, the mold, the hole, the hole being too small. Seven out of my other eight complaints, nitpicks, they're resolving. So kudos to Baofeng for being responsive, for listening to their customers. They're listening to me, but I am here on behalf of you, my favorite viewer, to make sure that the man doesn't dick you around. And even more kudos for actually resolving, or at least saying they're going to be resolving them. They will. They bet. I hope they will. They'd better. If you have any questions about the Baofeng UV9G, did I, I'm, I may not have mentioned that this radio is waterproof and costs only $40? Affiliate links below. If you have questions about the radio, about this video, about the previous videos, about this radio, you know what to do.